Teachers often tell students that science isn't just a subject to learn, it's a way of life. And a Suncoast children's book author is making science even more excitable and understandable through storytelling. Award-winning author Gail Hedrick is here to tell us about her award-winning books. And I love the titles, Something Thank Stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what that's about. Well, the first book was is, was uh, based on some information I got where, from where we used to live in Virginia, and uh, across the state there were some massive fish kills going on, and, and the um, so of course you would think that stinks. Uh -huh. it, it has a double meaning, of course, because it's bad, and it's then fish sometimes stink. So that's how that came about. What age group is is this book for? Uh, eight to twelve. They call them middle grade. Mm -hmm. uh, can go up a bit because they're these these the kids that are in this book are seventh and eighth graders, oh. but as lo as young as fifth grade kids really enjoy the books because um, it was written more of about a sixth grade reading level. So uh, but you kids won, love to read up. You won a major award on It this. did. Uh, very surprising. Uh, they, the publisher uh, sent it in uh, to nominate it and um, I, it, it won a, an, an Outstanding Science Trade Book Award. And did you expect that? No. I, I, you were I screamed a phys ed when they <laughs> called me. Yeah. Which, you were a teacher, I but was a, phys a teacher, teacher, but a phys ed teacher. Certainly not a science teacher or a, a reading teacher. But mm -hmm. uh, I studied writing for years and years and have written many, many things. But uh, this was my first book. And and so, so the yeah. first Award. book, Award. yeah, and it's a national, the National Science, Te uh, science Teachers Association and the Children's Book Council. They're huge organizations mm -hmm. and have a lot of pull in the the, the criterion that they. Uh, rate these books on is very high, and I've learned all that later. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Now that you've got the award, it was even translated into Korean. Yes, it's, oh it was just goodness. released in South Korea. Uh, How about exciting! A month ago, so, and yeah. then you wrote another one. I did. I, I did. like this title too. She thought Tell I was. About I think it. I'm pretty good at this. I should try it again. <laughs> the the scent of something sneaky. Yes, yes. Kids love sneaky. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. And it's um, actually the main character from the first book and one of her friends end up at a summer resort, and, uh, a bed and breakfast in the North Carolina mountains where we also used to live. And um, uh, a series of accidents are, are happening at this, at this bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. And Emily's a very curious, kind of almost suspicious kind of yeah. girl. And uh, she thinks uh, that they might be related to each other, all these incidents. So, so how do you start from there? When you're coming up with the uh, what's going to happen in the book, what do you pull from your your life, or do you just make it up? Do you know kids this age? Yeah. Um, well, I did teach, you know, middle grade, <laughs> and uh, I, d uh, of course, you know, had kids, but um, it's kind of a combination. One. These were both based on incidents that were happening in these particular states mm -hmm. and very disturbing things. And then a way to tell that story without, I, I didn't choose to make them, uh, you know, cr uh, scary. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yes. they're certainly exciting. And so um, it, you just start from there. Here it was the fish dying. And what, what got me was it didn't seem like anybody in the state was doing anything about it because they were calling them annual fish kills. Oh, oh. Right. and so, so but I thought kids might be interested in that and they might want to try and do something. Mm. And so that's where that, that jumped off from. So is your next book going to be set in Florida? I am <laughs> there. I have family in Michigan, and they're hoping a Michigan book. And, ah, and, yeah. and then we've we're been in Florida. For Florida. For well, you in the book. We've, we've been, been, been in Sarasota. We've been <laughs> in Florida many, many years. So I have lo just enough, many people saying Florida, Florida. Oh, so oh. I'm I'm interested in hearing from people if they have a suggestion. I'm ready to well, start. Well, they can come and talk to you, Gail. Yes, Hendrick absolutely. Is, Hedrick is going to be at Book One in Sarasota tomorrow or Thursday on July 21st. Yep. She's going to be signing her books. You can ask her about her books. At 11 o'clock. At 11 a.m. Yep. And you can go to sarasotabooks.com for more information.